Hi guys and welcome back. I'm super excited because I think this is one of my first styling type videos on my channel and I couldn't be more happy with the result. I did get my inspiration from Kaylin Cash. Go check out her channel. Her videos are bomb. She just knows what she's doing, has the most gorgeous style. Oh, go check out her channel for real. I saw her video and I was like, you know what? I'm going to mimic it, find my own stuff and kind of do the same thing, not going to lie, but it just turned out so beautiful. Kind of put my own spin on things, but um, I'm just so happy with the result. What I'm not happy about is the hot sauce stain on my uh, sleeve. That is an eyesore, and I thought to myself, you know what, Christy? Uh, you could refilm the whole thing or just, or just own it, and I'm, I'm owning it because you know what? Welcome to my life. I love my red hot my frank's red hot my sriracha my spice so you know i just had to um just let it live just let it live on my sleeve and you know what it's there to stay baby and i'm gonna own it to the day i die and i'm also gonna do laundry after i make this video <laughs> almost everything i got for my shelves and my little coffee bar minus my nespresso machine and my frother are from amazon home goods and target so it's super affordable and just absolutely stunning in my opinion. So again, I wanna thank Kaylin Cash for the inspiration. I had so much fun shopping. If you saw my last vlog, this is basically everything I got from um, my shopping spree. So let me shut up and let's get started. Okay, so here is my starting point. My shelves freshly hung up and bare, and I'm gonna go ahead and start styling these bad boys. So I'm first going to put this beautiful white picture that I found at Target up there on the left, and then right almost in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and put this little small cake stand I found at Home Goods. Super affordable, great price, and perfect size for my shelves. On the right side, I'm gonna use these three books. These were just books that actually fit on the shelves. I wanted to use these books because they're more cookbook style um, kitchen books, but they were way too big for my shelves. So I had to improvise and use these three books and I did get these off of Amazon. Really pretty, super affordable and goes with my color scheme of my living room and the dining room. Next, I'm gonna use these beautiful vases I found at Target. They are from the new Studio McGee Threshold line. I love the texture of these. They're just so beautiful and different. So I had to buy two different sizes. The smaller size, I put these little farmhouse style beads in the vase. I got those off of Amazon. And then I'm gonna put the larger one on the bottom, which you will see here in a minute. But right next to those books, I'm gonna use these uh, salt and pepper shakers I got at Home Goods. Those were about 10 to 12 bucks. I love them. I love the style, the wood. It just goes with my decor. And then now you can see that I'm putting the bigger vase on the bottom shelf and then stuffing leaves in them that I got off of Amazon just because I wanted the greenery in there because I did put the little uh, grass uh, stone greenery above it by the pitcher. So I wanted to bring in more greenery uh, with the leaves again that I got from Amazon. I found this at uh, Home Goods. It was super affordable. I believe it's called a mortal and pestle. Don't come for me, but I call it a guacamole maker <laughs> and I use it to grind up spices when I'm cooking. They had different ones with different designs. This one was my favorite. It is just absolutely beautiful. This might be the only thing I didn't buy at uh, Target, Home Goods, or Amazon. It is a white, uh, small little creamer pitcher. I actually got it at a yard sale for super cheap, but you can find ones like this at any store in the kitchen section. In the middle, I put a cutting board I got off of Amazon, and then right over top of it, I'm gonna put this beautiful cutting board I found at Target in the kitchen section. I love the marble top of it, and then that it has a wooden bottom. It is just so heavy duty and sturdy. It is, it is a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I couldn't pass it up. I had to get it for my shelves. This is actually not gonna end up staying on the shelves. It is advertised on Amazon as wall decor. 
I just wanted to put it there uh, because I'm eventually gonna put a basket of some sort in place of that, but for right now, it's just gonna stay. Uh, but it is definitely not my favorite, so maybe let's look past that, not necessarily um, judge it by that, but that will eventually be a basket. In front of that, I'm going to put this cocoa pot from Hearth and Hand that I got at Target. I love the way that this looks. I have not used it yet, but I cannot wait to use it. It's just beautiful to look at, and that's really it. I don't know what else to say about it. I just absolutely love it. It just looks gorgeous up there. And then I'm going to put a stack of plates that I got from Amazon right next to it. Now in front of the cutting board, I'm going to put these adorable coffee mugs that I found at Target from Hearth and Hand. I have been using these nonstop. They are the perfect size for my Nespresso's and they were a great price and i think i'm gonna go back and get more of them just because i i'm just obsessed with them and that is it for my shelves i stuck with the neutrals the wood tones put some greenery in it it's just perfect and goes with the decor and the color scheme that i'm going with the rest of my house so now let's move on to the sideboard and the coffee bar this beautiful bowl is from Target from the Studio McGee Threshold line. I saw it, I had to have it, and I'm like, you know what? That'll be perfect to hold my Nespresso pods. It's such a beautiful decor piece to put on any table in your kitchen, but I just wanted to use it for my sideboard. Next, I'm going to put this trivet or riser, not quite sure what you wanna call it, but it is just gorgeous. I love the way that this looks. I love the marble on top, kind of goes with the cutting board, and I love the design on it. I got that from Home Goods, and that was super affordable. On the right side of my Nespresso machine, I'm gonna put this two-tier food tray that I ordered online from Target. On the trivet or riser, whatever you wanna call it, I just put some greenery on that as well as these gold spoons that I got from Amazon. I love stirring my lattes with these spoons and they're just beautiful to look at. And I also went ahead and placed a small candle on it too. I got both of these mugs from Amazon. One's an espresso mug and the other one's just a regular size coffee mug. I got the idea to put this on the food tray from a woman named Stylin by Aylin. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but her Instagram is amazing. She gives you the best home decor styling tips ever. So make sure you go check her out. But I love the way that this looks. It just gives it a little bit of style on your coffee bar. And here's what it looks like all finished. I'm completely obsessed with it. Sometimes I come out in the mornings and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this even my house? I can't believe I did this but I just love the way that it turned out. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you on my next one. Thanks for watching.